Welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. Now it's time for some cleanup and Thundro Ghetto over here. So, let's... We're gonna be flying all over the place today, so let's start off with Viridian City. We're mostly gonna be exploring areas that we couldn't because of a lack of the Cut HM. Or, not Cut, I mean, Surf. Actually, I could have gotten here way earlier because I had to cut ever since Vermilion City. Whatever. First use of Surf! And you can find wild Pokémon while surfing. <sighs> I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this dream about a drowsy eating my dream. What's this? Where did this TM come from? This is spooky. Here, you can have this TM. So this guy gives you TM42. TM42 contains Dream Eater. So yeah, that takes care of this area. Um, let's see, where else can we fly to? Oh yeah, I know where. We can fly over to Cerulean City. Oh, there's also a trainer here that I want to fight. But first, I just want to show something off. Uh, let's see. Super Rod! Wait, what? What did it say? Looks like there's nothing here. Okay. I thought I could fish up wild Pokemon here. However, we can surf here! And yeah, <laughs> that's about it. You can surf in the gym. However... Just gonna bike on over. We're actually gonna talk to that guy today. Because now we have the means to do so. After maneuvering around all these trainers. Time to surf along to this cave that has been taunting us for so long. It's kind of weird how um, Tsunami turns into what looks like a, a seal or a dugong here. This is Cerulean Cave. Horribly strong Pokemon live in there. The Pokemon League champion is the only person who is allowed in. Okay. Well, keep up the good work, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'll keep Tsunami in the lead. so that we can finally battle this trainer who has been there the entire time. I came to get my mushroom Pokemon. Yeah, there, there won't be too much battling going on in this episode. We're just doing some cleanup work. Oh, three Pokemon. And she leads with a Paris. Okay. I guess I can chill this thing off with some ice beams. And, of course, I forgot that I still had this thing in my bag. At the very least, I'm getting some experience. And another Paris. I think her third and final Pokémon is a Parasect. I don't know why they put a trainer in this... oddly specific place that you can only get to way later on in the game, but... Whatever, they put her here, so... Yeah, you have some incentive to come back to Cerulean City outside of the Unknown Dungeon during the post-game. And that takes care of all three of her Mushroom Pokémon. And yeah, that is very inconsequential amounts of experience that they're getting. Oh, my cute mushroom Pokémon! 
There might not be any more mushrooms here. I think I got them all. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Which is why I'm gonna fly away! Let's fly, Ultra Flame, to... Um... Yeah, let's go to Lavender Town. The next area that I wanted to surf to is right here. Just going to ignore this town altogether, really. Um, what can I find here via surf, though? We can find a roadblock. Okay. And I'm sure that there's a roadblock on the- yeah, there's one on the other side as well. <laughs> so, let's see... Oh yeah, here we go. Here's... an item that I've been wanting to get for a while. TM-16. And I'm pretty sure I know what that one is. This TM is the Payday TM. Zero King and Thunder can learn Payday? Huh. Well, that's an interesting option. Well then, I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Because... With every trainer in the game outside of the Elite Four... <laughs> and we find a Wild Slowpoke. Very low level one, I add. Outside of the Elite Four and the Champion, none of the other trainers in the game are rebattleable. and... Whoa! Wow, that is a low-level Slowbro. Huh. Anyway, none of the other trainers can be battled multiple times, so your only other way of getting more pokes for healing items, Pokeballs of any kind, and whatnot is through Payday. So yeah, that is literally your only other option for earning more income in this game, after you've defeated every single solitary trainer in the game. Wow, this path goes on a long distance. And it abruptly ends here. Okay. I believe that's everything that we can get from over there. Um... Ah! I wanted to go back to Fuchsia City, actually, to get some more items that I couldn't get earlier in the Safari Zone because I didn't have the ability to use Surf Outside of Battle like I do now. So let's go on and do just that. I'll just take a shortcut here. Oh wait, here we go. By making a, a shortcut. And this is, I think, my third visit to the Safari Zone now. I'm not gonna be actively catching Pokemon, but if I find something that I'm interested in, I'll try my best to catch it. No guarantees, though. Okay, you can't interact with that. Alright. Good to know. Let's surf! A nugget! Interesting. Alright, let's head on over here. Uh, anything over here? Oops! Nope! Go away! I already caught one of you. Go away! This is very therapeutic for me. Thank you. Uh... I'm gonna check the item finder. Nope, nothing here. I think that's the only body of water that you can get uh, wild dragonairs in. 
Oops. Hold on. What's this? Ooh, Max Revive. That's a pretty decent item. And over here is another wild encounter. <laughs> and it's something else I already have as well. Go away. Thank you. Ooh, a max potion. That's also really good. And a Cubone. Yeah, you can find wild Cubone and Marowak here. And also wild Tauros. Speaking of which... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try my luck. Nope. Oh. You know, that's always been happening every time I encountered one off screen. Okay, third time's the charm. Come on, at least give it a shot more than one roll. Maybe I should have thrown some bait at it and then a rock. Oh, <laughs> second attempt! I'll make it less likely to run and make it easier to catch. And it runs away! Let me guess, is this gonna be a third Tauros? Nope. Not bothering with it. Um. Hmm. I think that might have been everything here. Rest house. What is in the rest house? Tossing rocks at Pokemon might make them run, but they'll be easier to catch. Using bait will make Pokemon easier to catch. I had to lock, but I didn't see any Pokemon I wanted. What's this? Crammed full Pokemon books. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else here that I want outside of maybe a Pinsir or a Scyther and Tauros and, uh, Dragonair. Actually, that's everything that I have yet to catch that's here. And I guess need Arena, because I forgot to catch one of those, because I don't think I saw much of a reason to do so. And that was the wrong way to go. And yet another execute one that I already have. As I'm expecting to get an encounter during that track right there. Uh, anything up here? Nope, nothing at all. Alright, let's see. What can I find up north of here? Because there is a second path here. Trainer tips. Zone exploration campaign. The search for the secret house. Already found it. Um. Hmm. What is over here? Have I been to this section of the place? Oh, wait. Yeah, I have. Eh. Whatever, I'll just super odd. Try my luck, I'm more than likely going to find nothing at all. <laughs> okay. I'm probably more likely to find Magikarp than anything else here. Or not get any bites in the slightest. That works too. And, jeez, so many Niran. Alright, let's see what's over here. Wow, first up into the grass. Ugh. Uh. Hmm. Why is with all these Nidoran? Jeez, that's a high level one, too. Let me guess, Nidoran? Cubone. Okay. Well, it's an improvement. Um, anything over here? Because I think there might be an item over here. No, not good, Rod. 
nothing. Yeah, this, I think, is supposed to be like a dead end area. Yeah, this is a dead end. With no benefits whatsoever, so you have no need to go over there. Um, hmm. Not sure what else to search for. Yeah, I think I've covered the bases already. Um... There might be one patch of water left. Oh, I won't be able to find out. I think I got everything. Alright, so... Where else can I fly to? Ah, Celadon City. There's one area here that I wanted to go to. And it's actually not too substantial of an area, because it's this lake. Yeah, this small pond is a surfable area that houses one person. Hello there! I've seen you, but I've never had a chance to talk. Who's a gift for dropping by? TM41. TM41 teaches soft boiled. Only one Pokemon can use it. That Pokemon is Chansey. Okay. So that's the soft boiled TM, which can heal the user in battle and out of battle. It can heal can cause the user to heal another party member at the expense of some of its own HP. And, last but not least, is something that I've been building up this entire run-through so far. Ever since I got to the SSN, really. And it's kind of convoluted. You know, I'm gonna take a shortcut through. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Oh, I forgot to bring the SS ticket with me. My bad. I completely forgot about that. And I can't surface on top of the tree. Makes sense, actually. Uh, better get that ticket back. <sighs> okay. Nope, wrong PC, wrong PC. I'm gonna go to my own PC. And... Where is that thing? Ah, there it is. Also, off-screen I sold off all the TMs that I have no need for. And all the X items as well. So, those are gone. So that I would be able to afford more Ultra Balls. Which I now have like a net gain of five. I had like 63, I think, before I went on a catching spree outside the Safari Zone to fill up the Pokedex a bit. Some of the Pokemon that I caught were kind of stubborn, to say the least. And now. We're not going to board the SSN. Instead, I'm going to surf around it. To show the truck. This truck is a solitary background element. You can't use it to... You can't use cut to slash the tires. You can't move it by using strength. You can't push it in a direction, is just a background element, much like this stuff. Um, actually, this is the first time I've ever been here in this area before on Pokemon Yellow. So I want to see... Oh, it's completely barricaded in. 
Kind of interesting, actually, being able to go here. The fact that they were able to to make such a big area, yet you can't access it unless you go out of your way to do so. It's kind of interesting. Kind of wondering if there are any hidden items here. It doesn't look like it so far. Um, and this is kind of something that I've been wondering. If this here is right here, then how does the ship get out of the harbor? Especially considering, if you look at the map, that's not a good example. There's no clear path that seems open enough on the map for the boat to leave from there. Well, I guess maybe... Uh, no, it still doesn't look like there's enough room over there. Because the cycling road is in the way. Nope, there's nothing here. But yeah, this truck, it is... Pretty much something that has spawned many rumors and urban legends in the Pokemon community. Like, if you have strength on this truck, then you can find Mew underneath it or something like that. There's no Mew under it, because I can't even push it. Even when using strength. Still can't push it. No matter where I push it from, I just can't move it. So yeah, this has been the cleanup episode, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> see you next time.